Happy Saturday, everybody. I have received another order from Timu. It arrived on a rainy day, but this day, today, uh, which is April the 6th, is a sunny day. I probably should be outside enjoying the sunshine and a little bit warmer weather here in southern Wisconsin. However, I wanted to take a few minutes and open up my Timu package and share what I got with everyone. And I hope everybody's doing well. This is my 17 item package. And it was a little beat up, it was raining the day it arrived, but hopefully everything is good. Often when I get packages, uh, there's some damages or something wrong with some of it, but Last time I got lucky, I am going to try to give you the prices as I go through everything. Um, hopefully, we won't run into any problems. So the first item, well wrapped in bubble wrap. Ooh. And in plastic wrap, and it is a tiny glass pitcher. So cute. And this item they're calling it a tea cup mini tea set, which, okay. Um, that was $2.54, but it's really cute. It's glass and the lid goes on there. I think it's a little big for a 1 12th scale uh, house or diorama, but it would be good for a uh, Barbie, I think. A one sixth. So I've gotten some other glass pieces, which I've been pretty happy with. So I had to have this one. I mean, I guess the lid. I don't know. I love it. I love that they're so tiny and they're actual glass. All right. And then next we have these lamps, which I've actually already ordered as well. This was a pack of two for $4.48. Although I discovered they're too big to look reasonable in the 112th scale doll house, they do make a good Barbie lamp. Super cute. So I have two of them. Uh, and wanted a couple more because I thought that you could use them in just about any room and they're, you know, simple, clear, and simple pattern. So you could really make them work in any kind of scene that you want to create. It's, um, it's not really limited to any one style and... I think that's a pretty good value. So two pieces, mini LED table lamp, $4.48. And here is another piece of glass. This one. Two dollars and eleven cents. And again, I'm thinking this is more towards the one sixth scale. So fine and really elegant, actually. I, I think I had a theme going with this order that I have a lot of clear glass items, but if I could find some tiny silk flowers, or I suppose I could make some uh, from paper, or tissue paper, or something like that, and wire. I don't know, that's 
That's really nice too. Okay, moving on. Okay, I bought, it's a one piece, one six miniature mannequin. It was $1.69. I had purchased, oh, here, it comes in these, comes in four pieces, five pieces. So let's see if we can't bust this thing together. Assuming it goes like that. I have pink ones that I've gotten with um, a Barbie doll sewing machine set or fashion design set, whatever they're choosing to call it. Um, I don't know if I've put this together poorly or if it's just the construction. It isn't, it isn't really snapping tight at the top there, but it'll be fine. Once a little dress is put on it, it'll be cute. pretty tall. I have been toying with the idea that I want to uh, try making some Barbie clothes. So I guess when I saw this, I thought, well, maybe this would give me a good form. Although I guess, why don't I just use the Barbie? Okay, I don't know why I bought this. It just seemed like a good idea at the time. And there it did click together a little bit better. I needed to get this thing more inserted in the groove. This is nice. I had bought some that were more a cage style body. And I actually like this one very well. Um, it's $1.69, so that's a good price. It's a nice item. It will make a very nice display piece. I am anxious to incorporate this into my diorama I've been working on. Set that down over there. All right. This is a plush rug. I do have one or two or six of these, but I really like them. And when I go into like Joy and Fabric store in my area, they don't have anything that's this fine or low pile of plush that I've been able to find really. Nothing exactly like this. So at $1.52, I just keep grabbing them because I really like the pink fuzzies, I guess. What can I say? So there's that. And was actually a little bit pricey for what it is. I can't begin to explain my thought process when I'm ordering stuff online. Um, whatever the mood is that I'm in, I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm really looking for just the very bare bones best bargains they have and sometimes I just get stuff because it appeals to me. Um, this is broken, which kind of unhappy making. Uh, it is a woven basket of some kind. It was $4.98 and apparently the trip across the world did not fare very well. So uh, 
Timu is really good about when you take a picture and report it and show them that something is broken. They just credit you for it. I don't know if I would order it again. I guess the chances of it being broken twice would be slim. However, we can see that it's actually a cute basket with the nice detailed handle there. If it wasn't broken, it would be good, but there you have it. So we have one casualty to report to Timu. What else do we have here? Something in a box, I guess right off the top of my head. I don't know what this is. We'll see. Oh my goodness. I thought I was ordering a teeny tiny little mirror tray. But this is much larger than what I expected. However, um, I guess for a Barbie diorama, it would be cute. Just like that. Looks like that was all made to go together, in my opinion. <laughs> a little lacking in color when we do it that way, but it's a neat kind of organic design. The shape of the tray, it's not really oval or any specific shape, but um, so I, although I'm really shocked about how big it is and it's, it's really heavy too. Um, I like it. I do like it. Okay. All right. Oh, how much was the tray? A cloud shape tray, $4.94. And then this is a black one six size chair. I wanted to order one and I thought, well, if I really like it, then I can always order another one. Thought it was pretty cool. Survived the journey very nicely. Sits nicely. Good size for Barbie. Yeah, I might get another one of those. Pretty cool and modern for sure. I say the price on that is $3.98. Another mystery that I'm not sure what it is immediately. It's packaged really well. Lots of bubble wrap. Another piece of glass. This is a glass stand or I don't know, fancy. Serving dish. Again, sticking with the theme of clear glass things this order. <laughs> I don't know why. There we go. It's very fine. And it's quite the feat that not in a box, but just in some bubble wrap. And then um, plastic packaging. It made the trip and it's unscathed. Just have to keep it out of the way of my cats so that they don't decide it's a toy and destroy it because that would not be good. 
that little tray. They're calling it a candy bread dessert dish was two dollars and fifty four cents. Next, again, keeping with our theme of clear glass. <laughs> a little silly like this is a little bit boring and dull but these are all nice neutral pieces this is a little glass bowl I think it's glass um, this would be for my Barbie diorama or display just like a whole bunch of glassware going on here. All right, and that glass bowl Two dollars and ninety six cents. It says dollhouse miniature bowl glass. Two dollars and ninety six cents. I recently at Walmart found some. I think they're called minis inside of minis candies, and it's like a little, like bite sized looking box of candy. There's some milk duds, there's some Twizzlers, there's some Hershey bars, and then when you open up that tiny little box, then there's more teeny tiny little packs of candy in that that are, in my opinion, probably down to about one twelfth size, and they are really fun. All right, well, this stuff isn't clear. Even a package that says toys on it. And it is a six piece set for a dollar ninety nine. So it has this tray. break something like now before I even get a chance to really use it. And then it has this little covered detailed basket. Very, it feels like very nice quality. It's not, it's got a little bit of substantial weight to it. The lid really clicked into place. It's pretty. Like the detail. So it has this covered basket. Then it has this tiny teapot. I would call this one sixth scale. Not that I'm any expert and sometimes when I'm done rambling I realize maybe I was wrong about what I said about the scale of something, but I'm thinking this looks like one sixth to me. So they go on the tray. Um, this I don't think is meant to really be utilized. It was just in the package. So I'll toss that. And then there are three little cups. You can stack. Oh. I don't know, that one's got some like dark down in the bottom of it. They don't all. Just 
minus the one. All right, so there's that. Very nice. Oh, and that, so that was $1.99 for that. And I would say just having this cute little basket would have been worth that. There's even detail on the bottom. I mean, that's a really nice piece for $1.99. I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay. All right, this I'm not sure how much it was and I covered up the price. So I can't report on this one right now, but it is just one of those Ikea looking wood shelves that I will most likely paint. It's a grid style. I believe you could use this for either scale, most likely. It is it is put together really nicely. It feels solid. Uh, the wood is pretty smooth and sanded. It doesn't seem cheap. I'm guessing it was around seven or eight dollars. I could be wrong. I'm not sure which scale I'll be using it in, but let's test it out here. We had it. Okay, so this bowl won't fit in there. And that won't fit. <laughs> I think this is leaning towards maybe it's going to be uh, 112 for sure because some of the little one more six, one six size doesn't look like it really wants to fit in there very well. All right. A lot of plastic. I don't love wasting plastics. I have a little bit of conscious about it. But I did just watch a Instagram reel where some lady made a uh, whole camping tent suspended in the trees with a roof and walls with just rolls of plastic wrap, which was a hideous waste to see. So perhaps my little purchases I do here and there aren't really what's destroying the environment. I don't know. Oh, I have bought a couple of these. Apparently I love them so much. I can't stop buying them. <laughs> Just a minute here. Let me take this down. It's a little glass jar with a lid. So now I have three of them. But on my own kitchen counter, I have several of these jars. So um, I just think they're, I, maybe I'm just fascinated by the fact that they can make such fine glass things and have them just look so nice. And the price is so reasonable on it. Uh, this little glass jar was $2.11. I have the little resin things I've gotten from Timu, the donuts and the um, little cookies and things like that. So they just look really pretty. Uh, initially, when I started buying miniatures, I had been, you know, like at Hobby Lobby or the Dollar Tree, you can buy a pack of like six little tiny glass cylinders with a cork in the top and I mean, they're just not nearly as well done as this. And then to have the glass lid. So I think these are way better. I might be done buying them now that I have three, but I can't be sure. I'm not making any promises about that because they really amuse me. Okay, here we have another laptop I bought one in pink but sometimes I don't want everything to be in pink all the time so I purchased a black one this is saying it's 1 12th but to me it looks closer to 1 6th 
scale. Uh, it has the little imprinted keyboard. It has a screen saver on there. The bottom is hollow, which the other one I got, I think it was a little nicer on the bottom than this. Um, and then it came with a little purple mouse with a teddy bear on it, which is cute. A little detail. So there we have the mouse. It's a rollerball type mouse, which is a nice little detail. Getting down there to the bottom. Okay, this is pretty funny. Should have ordered more of these. I am so guilty of anything that's cute. I just want more and more of it. If it's tiny and seemingly impossibly small, I want a bunch. Okay, so this is, it says it's 12 pieces. It's for one 12th dollhouse. I think it could work with one sixth also, but they are mini gummy bears and the pack of 12 was $1.69. These I would, here's what they look like in the bag. Pour them right in the bowl. And there we have it, little tiny gummy bears. And they are, they almost seem like they're made of glass or something like it. I don't know if I'll be able to show this, but very tiny very tiny cute I mean if we wanted to fill a jar with them how many packs would we need oh probably three or four That is so pretty. What else do we have? Okay. So this is another little plush. This is a bunny and it was a dollar twenty-five. It's cute enough for what it is. It's got a little tab up here in case you wanted to hook it on something. I know you do see, I think they have this probably exact same one at Hobby Lobby in the jewelry aisle. Might have even bought something like this similar. The legs and arms are jointed and swivel, so it has a little bit of posability. Again, I think you could use it for either scale. His eyes are not super stand out. They are there. When you just want to fill out a scene or the background or Finish off a bed that you've made. This is always a nice little addition. Doesn't have to be a kid's room. Everybody loves a, key, a, a fluffy bunny. <clears throat> All right, I think we're down to the last item. Here we are. And what is it? Oh, 
it is an item that I have had in my cart and out of my cart since I first started ordering from Timu probably a year or so ago. And I don't know why I wasn't sure. I think because I had a hunch it was kind of on the large size for 112th. And that's where I had started out was with 112th scale. And now that I'm working on a diorama for a 1/6th or a Barbie doll, I thought, oh, I should get that now because it is going to be closer to the right scale. I'm just trying to fluff this up a little bit. They're plastic flowers. The little label on the front says, good luck. And beyond that, I don't know what it says because the writing is way too tiny. So here we go. This is a glass vase and there. So on this particular order, with the exception of this shelf, the dress form and the chair, which those were just things I wanted to see in person. I mostly just have all this little tableware, glassware, can you tell I love playing with this? <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> um, This is going to be a lot of fun to work this into my scenes. Um, looking at it now, I feel like, yeah, it's all mostly for the Barbie size stuff, which is okay. If you were tuned in for 112th stuff, I apologize. I didn't have a lot in this order. Although, you know, you can put whatever you want in whatever scale. We all have oversized and undersized things in our homes, so um, or this could pass for a 112 mixing bowl, I would think. I have a large that's a bowl from Tupperware, so why not? Anyhow, I hope you all have a good day. And thanks for watching. I've got a lot of really nice comments from people, which I didn't realize that many people would want to watch. And it, it's fun. Um, so thank you for everybody who's watched or if somebody gave me a like or if they left a nice comment. I really appreciate it. Um, I... I'm going to try to stop ordering from Timu. <laughs> I have a little, um, I have a little stash of thrifted miniatures that I, I plan on doing a video for. It's mostly one twelfth scale dollhouse stuff that on a few trips close together, I've picked up at my local Goodwill, Salvation Army. Um, so I would, one bag of stuff I haven't even like gone through and looked. I haven't even opened the bag yet. I mean, of course you can kind of see what's in there from the outside, but I'm saving it to do a video. And then I have right here on the floor, <laughs> I have a tub of Barbie stuff that is a mix of my Barbie stuff from the 1970s, early 80s, and then my daughter's Barbie doll stuff that's from the 1990s. So I am going to also go through that. I've had a couple of people request it after I mentioned it, and I do intend on doing it. Um, I just haven't gotten to it yet. So bear with me. Thanks for your patience. I hope you all find joy in the little things and have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.